What is going on everybody? Welcome to Blind Power. So, I have here the Victor Reader Trek. It is a beast. Um, it is the combination of the stream and the Trekker Breeze, I think it was what it's called. Um, the, you know, J Trekker Breeze was a GPS Victor Reader. The GPS uh, device, I don't even know what it's called. It's not even a Victor Reader. Um, it's a GPS trekker from HumanWare. Well, anyways, what they did was they combined the trekker and the stream and they created the trek. So, this thing is awesome. So, honestly, there's differences. So, like switching from the bookshelf to online, offline, and GPS, it's, it's got the same keyboard layout on the number pad as the previous generation. It's all super similar, so if you've had a stream second generation or first generation even, um, you should know the layout. It's almost identical. So, now there's certain things that I like more about this one than the second gen. First off is battery life. Um, I've had this thing for about two weeks now, and the battery life is awesome. I've got about uh, seven, eight hours on battery. And on the original, not original, on the second generation stream, I got about, I got about six hours, so I get two more hours on this one. And there is a lot more weight because of the battery and because of the GPS that is incorporated, so uh, pretty cool. Now, the battery life is one thing, but the next thing is... The speakers, I feel like they have improved a little bit on the speakers. I can't um, you know, compare them because honestly, my second gen Victor Reader actually broke. That's why I got the trick because the second gen actually, um, so many, it was four years in my pocket. And I guess for me sitting on it for four years straight, it finally gave and it doesn't work. But um, this thing has given me. A new possibility for navigation. It's it's almost as accurate as a uh, as a walking directions thing on your phone. Probably even more, and it's easier to use because you don't have to fiddle with voiceover to get the directions. You just dial it on the keypad. It's interesting. It uses the the uh, the T tone keypad style type of thing. Um, now there is heft to it. Which is the thing with the GPS and everything it is thicker so you do get um, a lot more thickness on this and it comes with a rubber case compared to the previous generations it came with a plastic like a pleather case but this is actually uh, part rubber on the bottom and it's got a metal clip which is magnetic and then it's got the pleather top which is kind of like I don't know it's weird it's like a I call it pleather because it's like, it feels soft, but it's like plastic, but it feels nice. It's magnetic, it's, it, you know. It doesn't add much bulk to the Victor Reader. So this is the Victor Reader without bulk, and I actually have some pictures that I'll pop in now of the thinness with and without the case and comparing to the stream. So, pretty good. Now there is a couple things that I, that I do say. When you're using this uh, case with the Trek, do not leave it open because if you're doing a harsh movement like for example uh, you know I live in an area where we have we have land and I'm on a tractor um, you know I was on a hill and I was like sideways and this was on my belt the, the track and I almost had my track fall out if it wasn't for the headphones the headphones saved it because the case if you push into the sides of the case it could fall out so it's not the most protective thing in the world but that's why they have the premium case so durability it's awesome uh, I feel like this one is more durable than the, se the second gen because it's thicker and if you look at the the pictures that I showed you guys and also on here I'll show you um, if you're totally blind I'll describe it to you so it's basically it feels like the, it's plas the plastic is heavier so there's more uh, solid material inside and then the borders are actually like a glossy plastic which I feel will scratch up pretty quickly. I've already got some scuffs 
from the times that it actually fell out of the case already. I one big old scuff on the bottom right. I mean on the top right. Um, but you know, durability. Of course, you're always gonna get scratches and dents and stuff. Now, for for Bookshare and Bard, so that's NLS Bard. Uh, I feel the experience is almost the same. The only new thing that I, I honestly am so happy about is Bluetooth. So if I go and I turn it on, I'll show you the Bluetooth. I believe it's Bluetooth 4.1 what's on here. So that's fairly new. Um, so you can connect to Bluetooth speakers, headphones, and well, even a car if, if we need be. So. Searching for satellites. Offline. Online bookshelf. So here we go. And menu. Wireless. Import Bluetooth. Connect to Bluetooth device. Disconnect from Bluetooth. Forget Bluetooth device. Bluetooth device assistance. Connected to Wi-Fi. Bluetooth. On. So this is all your Bluetooth configurations. You can uh, connect, forget, um, and you have the Bluetooth assistant, which will basically help you if you're new to Bluetooth, which nowadays it's kind of hard to believe. So the connectivity is there, which is awesome. So you can have Bluetooth headphones. Now the sound recording on the Victor Reader, so the notes, if we go to offline. Orientation. Offline bookshelf. So the, uh, the audio recordings, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to see that I could play them um, on, on, on here without through the Victory speaker. But if you play them through the speaker. One. This is a recording test with the Victor Reader track in front of my face. Very close. So if you have the Victor Reader in front of your face, I haven't played the notes without like uh, the speaker, I haven't tr tried it on headphones, but you know, of course, most likely you're probably going to be hearing it directly on the Victor Reader, the, the most of you, uh, or the rest of you who will export it could probably get some better quality out of it. But through the speaker, uh, when you're recording from right in front of you, so like I'm going to stand sideways, so I'm doing this, the, like I have it about inches away from my face, the quality is bad. Uh, and that's because you get some distortion, but I experienced the same problem with the with the uh, second gen and the original uh, Victor readers. So you know that's not different. Now for mid range distance, so like if you were in a class and the professor was kind of far away. So I don't know, you notice the audio difference? I don't. End of note. I really don't notice the difference when I was facing away from the Victor Reader and facing toward it. So basically it could be around classroom and sometimes that's a scenario where the professor's in the middle or your average classroom where it's a square classroom and your professor's on the, on the front of the room. This Victor Reader can pick it up great. So I feel like the microphone quality has improved a little bit for farther distances. However, keep in mind, you can always connect the microphone. The, the headphone jack, it doesn't have headphone and microphone separate, which I, I'm not a fan of. Uh, but you can get a splitter and split the connection so you can have a separate microphone from your headphones. Um, honestly, I would go the route of the you know external microphone but if you need to use the internal microphone it works good as well uh, but you know you can always get wireless clip on microphones you just gotta make sure the microphone is charged and then um, you can give you know a, a microphone to the professor and put it in his desk you know you can get way better quality but the internal microphone on the stream and the trick actually I, well, I keep calling it the stream because I'm so used to that name uh, it's really good you know, I feel like it's it's gotten better compared to the second gen. I wish I had an ability to compare, but as I said, my second gen Victor Reader is broken. I have 
I have the the, the actual the actual the actual uh, Victor Reader second gen, but I don't have it working. I gotta see if it's the battery or what. But you know, for now, I'm not bothering with it because I got the trick. Now, this is where I find the perfect distance. If you're recording yourself on the stream, I on the track. Why do I keep calling it the stream? Dang it. Okay, so I find that about arm's length, so stretch your arm at about a 90 degree angle, that is the perfect angle for recording yourself without distortion. Three. This is about optimal sound recording length, is at arm's reach, so I extended my arm at about a 90 degree angle away from my face. This is the optimal uh, distance to avoid distortion in the recording. That's perfect. There is no distortion. It, it's awesome. I like that. And honestly, it presents my voice as it sounds. There, so there's, you know, really good. If you're coming from the first generation that has no Wi-Fi, has nothing, to the to the new Trek, it's going to be a big change for you. If you're coming from the second generation to the Trek, it's going to be a nice change. It's not going to be like, you know, unless you really want to use the GPS. But honestly. The only big difference is the GPS and Bluetooth. And I got this thing because of Bluetooth and because my other one broke, of course. Uh, but you know, the Bluetooth, really nice. I connect it to my Amazon ALEXA, because I have one right behind me, I don't want to trigger it. Uh, you know, I connect it to it and I listen to my book, you know, all over my office. So I'm working and I, I have my book and I like that. Um, now I haven't found any any changes in Daisy book formats. I haven't seen any Daisy upgrades. Uh, you do get the Daisy, uh, you know, features that were in the last gens, and I haven't. I mean, they're not enabled by default. So unless you drop the files in, you don't see, you know, you know, you don't see the uh, the the text. Uh, I think it's what they're called, like the text library or whatever. You could still do it, but it's not there by default. You actually, once you drop the files in, it'll enable it. So that's cool. So you don't have to. So on your offline bookshelf, you have notes only. And then if you drop in text files, then you will get your standard um, text bookshelf. And if you have uh, third party Daisy books, you'll, you'll find the Daisy books. So it's nice. I mean, and you can still get Daisy online. Uh, through Bookshare or through there's some weird third-party sources that I found on here so it's nice uh, in the meeting at the conference with humanware they did talk about maybe a, you know adding some new stuff in the upcoming update so they were getting you know suggestions and stuff for things that we would want so hopefully um, we get an update with some cool stuff uh, by the end of the year they said they're gonna. They hinted that there's gonna be a big update soon, so that's nice. Um, you know, I've I've had the Victory Eater since the first generation. I've been using streams since 2007, 2006. So it's been 12 years. I the first one I had was those big old, the original stream that was the big, you know. And then, you know, the second gen and the first generation stream portable, the second one. I've had all of them almost. Except the uh the the, the Victor Reader Stratus. I had, did not have the Victor Reader Stratus. So I've always been a big fan of the Victor Readers, and this thing is no different. It's high quality. Now, the one thing that actually amazed me is the headphones. Uh so now you can actually change uh, you know the volume and play and pause with these headphones and you can interact with navigation as well they're not like the highest quality so they're not like you know uh, a pair of beats or JBLs or you know anything of that sort but they're fairly solid so they're not going to break in your pocket compared to like the $30 Apple headphones um, you know, or the cheap Samsung headphones that come with the Samsung phones or whatever. They're covered in like an aluminum paint. And that's nice. You know, the wire, the wire, I say, will probably get old after a while. It'll probably deteriorate, but not bad. It's high quality. Now, this is the part that I really like. 
which I should have taken pictures of, but I'll, I'll see if I'll take pictures of it and I'll put it in there. So this is the play, pause, and stuff. It's on the right-hand side of the headphones and on, separately on, on the wire. It's a remote. And you can play and pause. You can turn the volume up and down, and it's got a microphone. So if you're taking notes and you're talking, you can actually test that out through here as well. So it's super cool. I wouldn't imagine the audio quality for this would be really high because they're headphones, so I wouldn't expect the same quality as the internal microphone. You know, but it's solid. The length is pretty long. Now, of course, it does have Bluetooth, so if you have good Bluetooth headphones, then, you know, save those headphones for an emergency situation. Now, the next thing I honestly appreciate so much from Humanware is the, is the fact that now it comes with a 16 gig, I believe it is. It's a 16 gig SD card and, and an internal is like 32 gigs, so you get a lot more storage. So I like that because the reason why they actually did it is because of the GPS maps. The GPS maps are like the full, if you want to get the full United States and Canada, it's like one point, almost two gigs. And that takes memory. And then if you travel, then you have all these maps, you know, added up on there. By the time you realize it, um, you know, you have, if you travel a lot, you have over four gigs of maps, you know, and it's like, whoa, you know, like a quarter of my memory is already taken over by maps. So nice job, Humanware, for doing that. So you get approximately about 40 gigs of onboard storage, probably no more, like six, let's say 64 average uh, that comes with it. So make, do the math, 32 plus 16, 48. My math is bad. Okay, so... Now, with the maps, the orientation as they call it, uh, the GPS, you can download the maps. When you first get it, you have to uh, download the maps that you want. It'll try to download them, you know, by continent, but you can, you can, you know, go by state if you only want Florida or whatever, just to limit your memory so that you don't use so much storage. But then every time, say, you know, you cross to another state, you have to download the map from that state. So that's an inconvenience. So I'd recommend just having the full United States and Canada in there. It's only like, like two gigs. It's not bad. Um, and you can download everything through Wi-Fi. And it takes, depending on your Wi-Fi speed, it's pretty good. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, my brief uh, review of the... Victor Eater Trek. Honestly, it's been awesome. The one thing that I've appreciated so much is the belt clip because it's gotten thicker. So, you know, the first gen fits in my pocket nicely, but then, you know, I've had the first gen without a case for so long. I'm trying to keep this one, the Trek, in the case as long as I can so that way it lasts longer. But, uh, you know, it, it feels, it, it feels like it's, it's more durable, so hopefully it'll last longer, and with the case, it's awesome. So the plastic cases are no more. Now it's actually rubber. Welcome to Victor Reader. Vo offline bookshelves. Online bookshelf. Orientation. Searching for satellites. Entering open area. GPS ready. Heading west. Southwest 222nd Avenue. In. Connected to Wi-Fi. Front 155 meters. Heading west. Southwest 222nd Avenue. In front 160 meters. Select the landmark as your destination. Two landmarks. Home. Home barn. Press confirm to start in. You will be guided as the crow flies. 41 meters. 2 o'clock.
so right now this is 41 meters to block. There is a wall to my right, so I couldn't have meters. gone. One o'clock. I couldn't have gone two o'clock. So now it says one o'clock because it's straight in front of me. So let's keep walking. Thirty-seven meters straight. Now it says I gotta go straight. It's not 100% accurate, sometimes it's a couple degrees off, but these are, you know, custom landmarks, so sounds good to me. 23 meters, straight. And it's coming down now, it's just 23 meters. It's about right. You have reached your destination. Route deactivated. One o'clock, eight meters. Home barn. Now it says it's at eight meters. And I recorded the landmark here at the gate. So that's pretty accurate. It took, it's about two feet off, but that's, that's pretty good. Now let's do the directions back home. Select the landmark as your destination. Two landmarks. Now I want to show you guys the outdoor home barn. Line. There's something called outdoor volume where it makes it extra loud when you're outside. So outdoor volume. There we go. Now I'm gonna say uh home. I'm gonna do directions to home. home. Press confirm to start in. You will be guided as the crow flies. 45 meters. Five o'clock. So this is with custom landmarks. Now with addresses, it'll be like your typical GPS. Um, 34 meters. I'll show you guys 11 that o'clock as well. Twenty-three meters. Eleven o'clock. reached your destination. Route deactivated. So my home is over there and that's about five feet away. So it's, it's like it's a, it's a couple feet off. It may be because I have a wall right there but that's not bad. And I don't know what else to tell you guys. I've talked about everything that I like about this thing so I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Comment, rate, subscribe. You know what to do. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. Hit the subscribe button and remember to enable the notification bell to get all notifications of blind power uploads. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.